Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video, as you already know, the NBA Finals is coming up and the Dallas Mavericks are facing the Boston Celtics in what should be an epic series. So I'm gonna look at all of the last 10 to 11 NBA Finals here and I wanna see, were they epic? Were they mid, were they awful, were they goaded? Let us see together. So sit back, relax, let's see where we rank this. For more content like this, make sure you like this video. Let's hop right into it. So this isn't in order. Right, but I have a good I have a good mind. I know where things rank and things where they should be. So let me look here. So I'm gonna go here. Let's look. So this is gotta be Golden State, the 2022 NBA Finals with Steph Curry versus the Boston Celtics. I'm gonna say this was a good finals. I'm gonna say it was good. I know Boston, they were up 2-1, and the Warriors, Steph Curry, just his ability to shoot threes at such an elite level. It was just, and he, he had a bad game in that series, but then also Jordan Poole rose up to the occasion, and Andrew Wiggins definitely rose up to the occasion. So shout out to those guys, and hey, that was the first, Steph Curry's first finals MVP. He's a main character. That makes sense. Um, looking at this one, this one is definitely, you know, for right now, I'm going to put you here. This could be adjusted. But the 2013 NBA Finals is actually really dope. It's an, like just top to bottom. It's one of the better ones. Seven game series, epic game six ending. Game seven was good. Danny Green, I think he set the record for most threes. And I think that was the last two, three, two NBA um, Finals. So that was very dope. So I put you at go for right now. Um, the very next one was truly... If you're if you like good basketball, if you want to see like perfect basketball being played, that's a great finals for that. Because the Spurs played some just ridiculously great basketball. It was my, it was the most entertaining destruction I've ever seen. But in terms of if you actually want to get people to I mean, the Miami Heat were destroyed. It was a finals margin record, I believe. Like we're going to put you at it wasn't actually good to watch if you were looking for competitive basketball. Um, this series between the Warriors, this is the first championship they had. I'd say it was okay. Um, without Kyrie and Kevin Love, definitely hurt that. Um, thinking with, thinking about LeBron had an epic start to the series. They were up to one. Usually that's the doom. When you're up to one against the Warriors, usually doom happens to you in the finals. Um, they're up to one, and I don't know. LeBron played so great, but then Andrew Godala, Andre Godala came in. And his defense was pivotal. LeBron's field goal percentage suffered. And yeah, I mean, it was it wasn't nothing really, it wasn't nothing crazy. It's Steph Curry's first championship. Now, this next one, I'm gonna put this. So bear with me. I'm putting this here. Now, the 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 instant reaction is to just jump. The 2016 finals, the instant reaction is just to jump and say, oh no, this is goaded. What are you talking about, Jesse? The reason why I'm not saying it's goaded is because every game was a blowout only game that was competitive was game seven and it was great it was a great game seven but if you if you remember that finals the ending is what really is the key thing but the whole series itself it was just you know blow out there blow out there blow out there blow out there very memorable i think in terms of memory maybe that could be goaded but i'm just talking about actually actual basketball being played i think that first that lebron versus san antonio finals is more competitive than this one um so i'm gonna put that at good finals definitely if you disagree comment down below so this next one this is the you know the, the, the they two of them look the same because they won back to back i'm gonna say this is the 2017 uh finals between the warriors and Cavs. that was awful i think the warriors had their run to the finals with context they're an outstanding outstanding team I don't think anybody would beat them. It's just they play Portland, and then they face the Utah Jazz. Then they face the injured Spurs. And I'm just like, okay, that's nothing. And then they play um, the Cavs, and they, they beat the Cavs. The Cavs played dominant going to the finals. That's why I thought it was going to be competitive. And when the Cavs got destroyed, it was like, ugh, so sad. Um, with that being said, the Cavaliers, they had that one game. They won game four. And they played really well, but that was people like, man, this maybe maybe LeBron can do it. He he ain't got the plot for that. Um, this finals back to back, it's awful again. It's 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 truly terrible. Those finals, I mean, bro, it was a sweep. The Cavs, I mean, the game one was dope. LeBron was playing some outstanding basketball. He like likely would have had one of his best games ever, if not his best game ever, if they won. But 
J.R. Smith forgot to score. And remember, Steph Curry to make character too. So that plot stuff circulate. And there you go. So that was a terrible finals. Um, so you, KD, come on now. Um, the, the Raptors versus Warriors, I'm putting that at good. And the reason I'm putting that at good, that yeah, I'm, I know people say, well, Jesse, you're just a hater. That's the reason why I'm putting it at good because it was actually genuinely entertaining to watch Steph Curry on the opposite side of the spectrum. Like usually, you know, he was on the I have everyone around me side of the spectrum. But then Clay Thompson, he gets hurt late. Well, he gets hurt early in the series, then late in the series. Kevin Durant gets hurt. So now it's like, what can Steph Curry do as the head honcho? The Raptors went, I think they they were up 3-1. The Raptors went, they lost game two, I believe, and they won both games in Oracle. And I was like, oh, that's dope, boy. I was like, man, this is, you know, and then the Warriors won game five. I think that's when KD got hurt, but. Yeah, they won game five in the game six. It was a very close game. Steph had a shot to, I think he tie or win the game, but he missed. And I was like, oh, he not clutch, but he got plot, so it worked. But that was a good that was that was a good finals. Um, this LeBron, the LeBron finals, I'm saying it's mediocre. I think it wasn't awful. I'm not gonna say it was good. Um, the Heat being there is just kind of like it was kind of almost disappointing at first because like why are he and then they like heavily injured i think Dragic was injured they got a bio was injured but jimmy butler had a, a great meme i think he played every minute of a game if not almost every minute and he like leaned over the table all you know exhausted that was cool so it was, it was mediocre i think it's one of the least watched finals which is interesting because lakers versus heat you would think that'd be um uh, everybody would watch it but nonetheless it's all good, right? Like, it's, you know, LeBron got his fourth championship. Good for LeBron. Um, the Milwaukee Bucks being the Suns, I'm going to say, I'm going to say that's good. I'm going to say that's the end of the spectrum of good. Almost at okay. I think Giannis' game six was really dope where he had 50, didn't miss a, I think, yeah, he didn't miss a free throw, which is so uncharacteristic because the whole, whole season, it was all about him missing free, you know, him missing the free throws and take too long to shoot the free throw. But, in this case, he he didn't like he he killed it. So hey, psh, <laughs> that that was a that was a dope to see. Chris Paul chokes once again. He had a pretty good um some pretty good moments. I think Giannis had a really good block. Um, I think Giannis had a and one on Chris Paul. It's a lot of really good moments in that finals. Um, the Nuggets versus the Heat. It's also it's not the worst. The worst one definitely is this 2018 one. If I was putting it in that order, um. But this 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 one is right. Like the Heat shouldn't have been even. They 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 went there, but it's like, why are you even here, bro? If you're gonna do that in the finals, why are you even here? The Nuggets were just a complete mismatch at the highest degree to the Miami Heat, and that completely outclassed them. So, yeah, that was last year's finals. But yeah, this is my list of the last 10, 11. There'd be 11, right? 11 NBA finals. Um, I think. The goaded one is that that finals was good from top to bottom. Those finals in the second row was really good. You know, Warriors versus Cavs. I think LeBron's dominance made it okay. The mediocre, uh, you know, LeBron versus the Heat. Now the Mickey Mouse, you know, one and an awful. Yeah. So honestly, looking at it, it hasn't been a lot of really memorable NBA finals. It hasn't been a lot of like real. Usually they end in six on average. Most of these series are five or six game series. I think the last seven game has to be 2016 so yeah i mean the finals they not they don't be hidden like they used to so hopefully this finals can be dope i think this should be really good this could be a six or seven game series and hopefully it could be on this list very high um hey for more content like this make sure to like this video make sure to subscribe it's the road to 1000 subscribers and if you want another one of these get these video to five likes and i'll do another one of these hey Thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to catch you guys on the next one, and I'm out of here. Peace.